welcome back to another episode. I've got my tea, I've got a croaky voice, I think I've got the start of the flu, but the sun's out and you can't wish for better than that. This is the first time I've been down the allotment all week and I haven't seen Vivi or Jeff for about a month I think, but they're down here so let's go and have a look at what they're up to. How's your firework? Uh, I don't know what that is or where it came from and look I'm still getting potatoes out. I was just saying it's the first time I've been down here for about a week. First time I've seen you for about, for about a month. I know, well I have been down here each week but you know what with a full-time job and a full-time master's degree to study for it's a bit um the hours have been odd. It's a bit windy as well. <laughs> Windy, a bit of That's old Jeff over there. Oh, Jeff. Good He's afternoon. Love you for that. Now, I understand you've got a problem with your leaks. I have. What's, what is the problem? A bug of some sort which is getting into them and... I actually think there's a problem in, in the high street with all these, with all these sirens going on. <laughs> let's, have a, let's have a closer look. There's little bugs are getting down into the outer leaves, eating their way down. And from the description I've read about uh, leek moth, it's not that, but I'm not really sure what it is. It's getting a bit cold. I've decided what job I'm going to do today. Now, down in this bed here is full of uh, spring flowers, the antirhinums that I grew. But what I'm going to do, if you remember, I bought some grass, Mexican feather grass. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to plant all of them in this bed here. So in the summer, it'll be a nice little hedge of Mexican grass. So not a lot of excitement in this job. Just taking the annuals out. There's a few flowers on there, but They'll go into the compost bin now. These are the annuals I did from seed at the start of the year, and I'll do them again next year. The good thing about doing stuff from seed is you can change the varieties so you can grow something different every year. Nearly finished. This bad. <laughs> Only um, one, two, three, four to go, three to go, and a whole new bed to make. You know, it's De December the first. My glasses today. are steaming up. December the first. Who would have thought on March the first? Yeah, you, you'd, you would still be here. On March the first, I was given my uh, marching orders. Marching orders in March. And now look at it. Food. Masses of food. Have you got anything left in, in the fridge? I've got about 40 portions of tomatoes mm. that are the equivalent of a tin. Yeah. I've got 5 kilos of peas. I've got about 10 kilos of beans. I've got 4 sacks of potatoes, 2 sacks of onions, 14 butternut squash still, 2 pumpkins. I've, <laughs> I've got all my cabbages and kale and my parsnips are still in and today last of the fennel's coming out before the frost does for it. Just briefly, what do you think you'd do different for next year? Um, I'm doing it now, nice. as in I'm, I'm getting things... One step ahead. Yeah, I'm going to get everything ready over winter. Afternoon, sir. You have a nice I'm lion, did you? I've been working. Yeah, right, okay. I have, look! You've been, you've been look. working on that, those creases, haven't you, or from the pillow? <laughs> Are you, what, decorating work? Yeah. Look at her, she's already started to strip off. Oh, my God. <laughs> These are the flower sprouts, which is a cross between a kale and a Brussels sprout. And you need them, they're nice and hard now. So I, can, so I can just cut one off. There they are. 
you can, you can actually buy these in the shops now. I remember when you couldn't buy them in the shops. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift the whole thing and take them home for my Sunday lunch. Give them a good pull. There we go. Now, I want to keep all this soil. So, try and get as much off as a weed that Get that out. Try and get as much off as possible. Because compost costs so much these days, doesn't it? And, oh, the fat worms in there as well. What I'll do is I'll cut the roots off, pop them into the compost, and I'll also just snap this off, and I'll throw that into the compost bin as well. And there we go, that's my sprouts for my Sunday lunch there. Flower sprouts, give them a go if you've got a bit of space. Now this is the Cove Tron Tudor I've been talking about, one of the old things that Harry Dodson did. And what I'm going to do with this is, I'm just going to take a few leaves off. Now the white fly, I can see, look at all this white fly in there. I'm just going to take a few leaves off, you don't have to, to uh, lift the whole plant. But I think I'll only take about six today. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'll leave the rest on and eat them during December. Just give them a good wash to get all this white fly off. And the good thing about this cabbage is it doesn't, it doesn't smell when you cook it apparently, so I will let you know next week. Hello. Now every time we get together for a little gathering on the allotment, have a bit of food amongst us all, we always seem to pick a day where it's cold and today is no exception. So today we're all come to Vivi's shed to have a bit of a Christmas party. So what's going on in your shed today then? Um, in my shed today, the Anton Fox pub is officially open. Look at the stock. I'm gonna put that one there and that one there and there's our pot loop now, good. Just come and look my socks off immediately. A grouch, or would you like to have one of your continental lagers? So what's going on in this corner then, Jeff? I am lighting the fire. We're having a fire. Oh yes. Make it cheerful. Keep us warm. What's going on in here then, ladies? What's going on in here? Ah! Happy New Year! Happy New Year. We haven't even, we haven't even started. Hey. This is going there to be the. Are. This is oh, going to be the mould hangover. That's all spice, of it in there. You can put them in the oven. Should we start with some? <laughs> I think we should start, shouldn't we? Because we've got. Hello, we've got darlings. Do you want to come and show us your oven? <laughs> I don't think it's particularly <laughs> exciting. Honestly, <laughs> that's more exciting. Jeff's got a fire going, and he's also got a fire in it in his shed. Not yet. Where's your oven? There it is. There it is. With all the mince pies in. Oh, not yet. <laughs> Far too many. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Is it sort of like knee height and you can actually... I do feel like we should have a bush, a bush tucker trial to get our mince pies. Ooh. These are our, our camping, camping ones. ones. Yes. Oh, we've, we've, we've had these for 35 years and we've got some plastic ones, melamine, at the same time. We've still got them. Uh, yeah, actually, la, our, la, our blue la. one. He's an excellent plumber. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's this one, isn't it? <laughs> That's it. It's Callum, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just laughing at all. Jeff. I <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, God, yeah, Mel's wine. 
I didn't go with you, we can smaller. I wasn't included. <laughs> Where'd you I go? Where have you been? Where have you been? Say to all the viewers. Happy Christmas! Oh, <laughs> Happy Christmas! Hang on a minute. Happy Christmas! <laughs> oh my god. That's, the, that's hot. I can feel the heat coming out. There you go. Ah! Really nice bins pies going in, burnt ones coming out. Nigel <laughs> <laughs> Lawson! There we are, Jeff's just baked some mince pies, fresh from the allotment. <laughs> this survey on pure fabric, is it 100 yeah. I don't know how warm they are. Don't if they're not warm enough, enough for someone yeah. like to... I didn't um, want to mince pies up in an enamel. I didn't even know that you need to... Really? It's a lot less make. On behalf of the viewers and everybody for taking part in the series this year, for taking part in the series, I've bought a few gifts for people. Oh, oh I thought this was going to be lots. Oh well, there's one for you. Oh my goodness. No. No, oh, shit. Oh, Edit. Edit. Sorry, swearing again. There's one for Jeff. <laughs> allotment bleak. Oh my god, thanks. Sure. Allotment wow. bleak. That's not the first. Sean, crikey, no. There's one for, one for Kai. Oh, oh Amaryllis. Oh, the treasure chest. I've had Amaryllis for yeah, ages. A and finally, one oh for. No. Oh, oh, Sean, that's so sweet. So, that's so from all the viewers and me, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This one is for Jeff. Oh um, my God! Because he's got he's got a couple of greedy grandsons to oh, feed as you. well. Oh, I should nurse it. <laughs> and the smallest one for Sean because he doesn't actually like vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> I love squash. <laughs> so cheers. Shall I get glasses out for champagne? Yeah, go on. No, this is coming down and it's not as easy as people think. Listen, think there's, there's been a lot of planning a going on and loop. you've all That's held things back bashed. until That's the camera's amazing. here. Is this like all your One of my early Christmas presents. Our. Our Christmas presents, yes. It's lifted up a bit for people to see. There you go. On behalf of everybody here, Thanks to everybody in the world for tuning in, and on behalf of us all, Happy Christmas! Happy, happy Christmas! Christmas. <laughs> That's the wheelbarrow flat wheel that did that. Straight into Vivi's cold frame. <laughs> did he really? Cheers, everybody! Cheers. Merry Cheers. Christmas! Cheers. Merry Christmas, Cheers. everyone! Cheers. And all, and all, do it to the camera. And all who sold in. Merry that. Christmas, Cheers. everyone! Yeah. Merry, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! See you next year. Hello and a Merry Christmas. No plans today, just thought I'd come down and have a look at how everything is because it's the first time I've been down here all week. Look at this. It's a strange winter. My lavender's come back into flower. Rusty's had his food now. He usually goes and has something to drink, wash it down. Is there anything in your garden that is strangely out of season? If there is, tell me in the comments below and don't forget to tell me where you are in the world in brackets.
this is the same one. They usually have a territory. Because they fight like buggery, these things. Jeff's down today. He's just emptying his compost bin. And then what he's doing then is he's putting the compost from the bin onto his top bed. All ready for the spring. And while Jeff's doing that, a robin is flying around his plot. It actually thought. Oh my god, look at some brown paper! Now it's Sunday, but we actually had post this morning. Is this? Is this my secret Santa? No. This is something that I wasn't expecting to turn up on a Sunday. Holy moly! Look, everybody! I don't like that bit of advertising, but there'll be an Anya. But a Sunday? Awesome. So that's my jet set. It you... should be jet set. Is it jet set? Jet set. Yeah. And I've got so Anya and my um what do you call them? New potatoes, early's. And then these are my two main varieties. Cara and remarker it should be. Now the only thing that's left to come are the red ones. Yeah, the Red Baron. These are both really great storers. So when I dug them up last year in, say, September, October, I was still eating them in April. Um, the Remarker can come up quite big, so they're nice for bakers. The Cara, they're just lovely, however you want them. I, I wouldn't necessarily say for mash, but I'm really not a mash person. Oops. Well, they turned up this morning. I just can't get over that they turned Sunday. up on a Sunday. Anything in there? God, it's rotting down. Any rats in there? No. But there's no food in it. It's just weeds. We've just discovered Jeff's got a big hole in this side of his. Undermine the whole bloody thing. Look at it. Compost bin. No, nothing is going to come out. Of... Lift it up. No, I don't want to do that. It'll all spill out. <laughs> <laughs> So Jeff's just come down to have a final little check before the Christmas period starts. Yes, I should be down again, I think, but uh, I'm a bit sort of dispirited about my poor compost bin here. Look, a huge hole. That can't be rats, it's got to be a fox, but that's a rat. Not unless he's gone through underneath and dug out that side. But it was only weeds that have gone in there, nothing else. Most of the stuff I, I sow, uh, I put you're in... You're far more for the summer, aren't you? Yeah, in spring, you know, sort of early year. Um, I like your crop of um, windows. <laughs> when are you going to harvest these? Uh, well, I'm hoping to they'll, they'll turn into a greenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Mini Crystal Palace. Now, there's plastic down there in the old carpet. I just want to make sure everything's killed off. And then... Um, in the spring I can turn it all over. Now somebody who won't be doing any work at all is Vivi because she had a bit of an accident. <laughs> so what you're up to then I don't Vivi? Know why I'm laughing because it blew my nuts. What am I up to? Get on my plot, get weed and get digging. Graham's here as well. You two need to get on the plot. Listen there's weeds in the top bed. The second bed down needs a good dig Do you want to over. explain for people that don't so, follow the Facebook? Um, a few days ago I got tripped up by a very ungentlemanly man. I went flying with my hands forward and unfortunately I've broken both my scaphoids, both wrists. It's a little teeny tiny bone but it's a really problematic bone. For now I'm splinted and my thumbs are immobilised so I can't do anything. In about a week's time I'll have full casts put on. Arr! Wrong time of year. I can't do anything. I can't get this. I can't make a cup of tea. I can't turn taps on. I can't lift a kettle. So basically, Sean, Graham, a whole host of other friends, they're rostered to look after me. Um, just a quick visit today to be out in the fresh air and have a cup of tea that I haven't made. But yeah, it's game over for about three or four months for me. So we'll see you when we see you. Yeah, I mean, I'll hopefully just 
come down from time to time just for the fresh air and the birds and a bit of company but I mean I literally I can't do anything I can't pull weeds I'm completely scuppered so the plans for the shed that's all on hold as well hopefully hopefully praying and praying and praying that by the spring the cast will be off and I'll be in rehabilitation I won't be able to dig still even when the casts are off but I can maybe sow some seeds we'll see so this coming year might be a bit of a disaster but we'll see what we can do so recently I've transplanted some of my violas and foxgloves I ran out of pots there so I just put a lot in the one pot so the trick is now is just to keep these frost free over winter. Due to the terrible weather that we've been having this week, I haven't had a chance to get on to the plot as much as I would like. So the only thing that I've been able to get on with is to weed this new vegetable bed ready for next year. On the left of the allotment, I am going to be trying a combination of a no-dig method and forestry gardening. Now this is where you put your leaves or your wood chips over the ground and you let the worms take it down and when you then plant your vegetables next year, you just part the material and you plant directly into the earth. That one doesn't look very happy in the end, does what it? What varieties are these then, Vivi? <laughs> so this row I'm trying to remember, I think this is the Tender and True, <clears throat> which I've grown before, and then this row was the Half Long Guernseys, which was new this year. So actually, let's go with the Half Long Guernseys. So these guys are supposed are to be... Are you going to take them all out now? No, 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 just, just enough for a feed. Um, so these guys are supposed to be not so long, but more... No, well, they're... But fatter. They're half long. They're half long, exactly. Does what it says on the tin. And you added a bit of sand into this, didn't you? Yeah, a bit. Ready for the pop? <laughs> no, well, I don't want the pop. It won't be long before we be put in the seeds in again. I know. Oh, yes, yeah, so on that, someone was asking the other day about when to sow. It's not so much when, in terms of the calendar. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me a second. <coughs> it's not so much when in terms of the calendar as opposed to when in terms of temperature so you want your soil to be at 8 degrees C in Wales we would always sow them in oh, February now is this going to be a big one this is, the, this is the good thing about the root veg is of all so you never know what's going to come out i absolutely until you love pull it. root veg for that very reason it's like you're either going to be made ecstatically happy i don't think you will be or with that a bit one. miserable oh. no okay so they've that one will make you feel a bit forked they're a bit rubbish you know at the end of the day though they'll all go in the pot oh they're just a bit too close look at that that's rubbish let's see this looks like a one for the Harrogate show bench. Um, look at that. Three for three for the price of one there. That just goes to show, doesn't it, that I didn't get on top of the thinning. Okay. But then they're, de they're decent size. It's like, do you want thick, thick ones or? Yeah, it's like I'm not interested. Look, I'm not interested in competition. I'm interested in taste. I've left that one. Let's have a Oreo look at the... likes a good <laughs> parsnip. You're right, Oreo. You've had your feed. 
so let's have a look at the tender and true. Uh. Oh. oh, I just hit, <laughs> I hit a pop. Look, at they've all really forked, haven't they? I wonder if the... Um, I don't think I put any compost in. I'm just wondering if it was a bit rich. Because really rich soil can, um, can make them fork, I understand. So also this year, <laughs> oh, that's a meal for a mouse. This year I kept the there's, parsnips. There's one over here you forgot. Oh. There you go. Yeah, I kept the parsnips and carrots separate because I've always grown them next to each other. And I've always had either great parsnips or great carrots, but never both. And I did a bit of reading on companion planting last winter. What is that? That's They're rubbish. very thin now. Now, do you remember I had a really poor germination rate, so with the tender and true, so I did a second sowing. Anyway, um, yeah, so this year I did them separately and, oh look, They're little like tiddlers. Babies. Look at that, Nouveau Cuisine or whatever it's called. Um, that'd be nice, just roasted whole. Um, yeah, so they seem to have grown better being separate. Oh, one more, I can't help myself. One more for the road. Let's have another halfy longy. Do you notice the difference it's in flavour? Oh, do I? Yeah. I haven't had any out yet. I have no idea. That's a big one. What you done for, bit? going. It doesn't want to come out. Unlike the carrots which have been self-rejecting. That's a nice one. I suppose that's getting there. Um, the smell is pungent. It's lovely isn't it? But there will be videos next year but they won't be what you've become accustomed to and I think you will could agree with me as well that Four years is a good run of green videos that have been on nearly every week. So, it's not goodbye. We're just changing direction a bit. So, from me and everybody else, I was hoping that Vivi would be down here today to say her goodbyes, but she's busy. But I will put a link in the comment below if in the description below if you want to go off and follow Vivi because she's got her own Facebook page as well so like I said I'll still be updating the the website and there'll be new videos going out in 2017 so from me and everybody else and Rusty and Vivi and everybody that's taken part in all these videos throughout the, the year I'd just like to thank you all for taking part and I'll see you all in 2017 so from me until then a merry christmas and a happy new year